Let us now go back to viewing our strategy in a box framework. And as you recall in the previous video, we took a look at step one, defining our goals, objectives, and our strategy. And we saw how we could do that through our planning statements. Now let's take a look at step two of our strategy in the box framework, conceptualizing the data and the process that's required to execute our strategy. And in this brief session, we'll focus on the data first. As you recall, what we are looking at is the retail business scenario by which we want to discover which promotions are most liked by our customers. And we found out that in fact, the audio uh, promotion scheme was the one that was most liked on a percentage basis of what was viewed by our customers. So the question now becomes one of, okay, what kind of data did we need in order to ascertain uh, which promotions were most liked by our customers? Again, what we'll do is we'll go back to our um, backend tool for the Visible Advantage platform. And in that tool, we can we can see um, that the data needed to um, understand the promotions was derived from certain catalogs. And you can see a visual representation of those catalogs here in our tool. And they are pr products, promotions, services, and then some key performance indicator data around the promotion itself in terms of when it was run and in terms of uh, the consumer or customer uh, shares and likes and so on from social media channels. Now, in order to uh, ascertain this kind of data, we created something called a view. And the view that we created uh, is to identify the promotions most liked by our customers. Let me show you briefly how, in fact, that was created. Here, what I've done is I've clicked into the repository that contains the information for that view. And what I did simply was, as you can see here, I've identified the columns that, the columns and the tables actually in the catalogs that were needed for me to construct that view. And it's a very easy, simple process. One does not need to know software. One does not need to be a developer. All one needs to do basically is, is to construct the tables here as you see, and in essence, draw the connection across those tables. In this case, we constructed the view for, uh, for identifying the promotion most liked by our customers by connecting the catalogs of products to promotions and promotions to services. Once we do that, then the tool itself will automatically generate the code. And here, I'll show you that code. Will automatically generate the code to create the view. And in fact, what happens then is that this is what's run during the time when we execute our query. Finally, let's take a look at the value of the data model. Notice that a product may have associated with it a promotion. Also notice that a promotion must have identified a service. That service could be a video, an audio, or some other form of, of media. Additionally, a promotion must also have determined a time period during which it is run. These relationships are really the key to the value of the data model. And this particular data model is actually automatically generated for us by our backend tool. Once generated and published, it is then mapped to the physical data. It is through this mapping then that our business systems and data analysts are able to get the insights they need to determine whether or not our strategy is performing as expected.